We know for many veterans, adjusting to life after their service can be very difficult. One Oregon vet, though, has turned his struggles into a positive for, a positive for himself. KGW's Joey Harrington is here with his story. And Joey, he's trying to turn it into a positive for others as well. Yeah, that's right, guys. For the last 25 years, Mike Beeson has struggled to deal with an event that changed his life forever. While serving in the military, he was sexually assaulted by his commanding officer. In a very open, honest, and sometimes graphic interview, uh, he told me about his time in the service, how it affected his outlook on life, and how's he, how he's turning that experience into a positive for himself and others. High school sucked for me. It, it really, I was bullied, I was, uh, it wasn't fun. But you got to the military and, and things were, Things were, great off the yeah, start. basic training was amazing. I got to be me. They would yell at you, and I never found why that was such a big deal. You know, I just did as I was told. Pretty soon after joining the military, though, that uh, things changed for you. What happened? Um, so I get to my first duty station in Korea. Within three weeks of being in country, um, I was uh, sexually assaulted by my first sergeant. I really was a kid. I was still in high school, you know, in theory. That changed the course of my life for the last 26 years. How did you deal with it? Not very well. It was, uh, I, I actually had to go to trial. It was my testimony that ended up putting him away. He had did this to 14 other um, soldiers. I just, world just fell apart. I got back here and I drank a lot. This campus is special to you, isn't it? Yeah. This was a, um, this was a neat place. I got the, uh, the idea in my head that I wanted to go to college and do something. You know, I thought maybe, maybe that'll help. Maybe I'll get a, uh, a degree and maybe that'll jumpstart my life. You know, I still remember my dad saying that, ah, oh, you won't graduate college, you know. And I, and I kind of understand where he was coming from because of the, the mess that I was leading. You know, he just, you're not, you're not, you're not you. You know, I was not me anymore. And, uh, but I proved him wrong. What led you to the point to, to seek help? Um, in 1996, I think it was, um, I put a gun in my mouth and pulled the trigger and it misfired. And I knew at that time that something was really wrong with me because from 18, all I wanted to do was, was die. I just, I didn't want to be around anymore. What was the catalyst that put you on the right path? What I did was, of all things, is I jumped on the computer and started watching YouTube videos. Yeah. That's what started it. I, just watching these people transform their bodies and be happy, you know, and continue that success. And so that's when I said, you know what? I'm going to change my body. <laughs> well, I was weighing in about 212. I'm only five foot six. <laughs> Nothing took a hold like weightlifting. I said, enough. I'm gonna do this. I am going to do something for me. Is it fair to say that um, it was your first real success? I needed a win, and, and, and that's one of my biggest things. I think that pe folks with PTSD, they, they need that win again, that confidence, and that, I got it. How does this personal feeling of accomplishment turn into a nonprofit? I wanted to, to share this with my other veteran brothers and sisters, and, and it, it is to find that peace within you. Through fitness, I, I, I want to bring a new belief system to them. That, 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 that they are not what has happened to them. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. Mike Beeson is a very passionate person who's committed to changing his life, as, as committed to changing his life as he is to helping others find their win. While From PTSD to Freedom is still in the infant stage as a nonprofit, uh, Mike wants to be a resource to, resource to other vets struggling with PTSD. Boy, what a powerful story. Hey, Joey, how can people watching get involved with this? Yeah, that's right. If, if you or, or anyone you know wants to get in touch with Mike, we posted a, uh, a contact, his contact info under news links at kgw.com. And while his, his website is still in the infant stages, uh, he's got an email, Facebook, YouTube, uh, plenty of ways to get in touch with him and, and help him share his story. And get involved. Yeah, it looks like he could uh, show folks a good workout, too. Well, yeah, <laughs> I think he's doing all right in there. Impressive. Joey, wow. thank you.